A new year and a big headache for Debenhams. Just two days after announcing poor Christmas sales, his chief financial officer has now resigned. Just a week before Christmas, he'd written to the store's suppliers asking for a discount on goods and was heavily criticised. Now the last-minute surge in Christmas shopping has failed to materialise. Debenhams has blamed its poor Christmas performance on the decline of the high street, bad weather and the pressure on household incomes. The problem is those things affect all high street stores, but some are doing better than others. Debenhams has now warned that profits for the six months to April 2014 will be £85 million, down from £115 million in the same period last year. Meanwhile, House of Fraser hailed its best Christmas ever, with like-for-like -like sales for the three weeks to December 28th up by 7.3%. John Lewis said comparable sales climbed 6.9% over the five-week Christmas period. Today, the store's managing director told me the John Lewis website has been crucial to its success. We're here in a busy shop today and I know 50% of the people in here will have been looking on the John Lewis website to do their research before they come in here and they'll probably even complete the transaction on the website. But that's okay because they'll have got the advice in here today so you definitely need the best of both. Debenhams has been upgrading and modernising its stores but experts say it needs to do more. I think Debenhams should look at its ranges, I think introduce more brands rather than own bought ranges which aren't necessarily very popular. Um, and finally, I think it should be looking at expanding its online click and collect to allow shoppers to return and um, collect their products much more easily. For some stores, Christmas has been full of festive cheer. For others, the New Year's resolution will be to try and do better. Leila Hayes, 5 News.